Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi, this is Zephyr Iqbal. Welcome back to my channel. In this English grammar lesson, I will teach you the future perfect continuous tense in detail with definitions, formula and examples in the sentences. In this lecture, on future perfect continuous tense, there is not a single definition of future perfect continuous tense, but a lot to understand that what is future perfect continuous tense and what's its role function. I hope that students will understand easily. By the end of the lecture, you will have a clear idea of a way to use future perfect continuous tense. So let's get started. But before the start of our lesson, if you like this video is interesting and developmental, so please don't forget to, to subscribe, like, thumb up and comment. Kindly leave a remark underneath. I love to hear what you need to say. Thank you. Now, definition. That what is the definition of this tense? Number one, the future perfect continuous tense is used to express a current action that will be completed in the future before a certain time. Second definition, the future perfect continuous tense is a verb form that describes an action that continues until a certain point of the <clears throat> certain point in the future. The activity started somewhere in the past, present or future and is expected to continue in the future. The third the third definition is the future perfect continuous tense is used to describe an action that is not completed at some point in the future but continues. Now, after the definition, we will talk about how do we make the future perfect continuous tense. But wait, but before we jump on to, on to how do we make the future perfect continuous tense, it is necessary to brief on since and for, as you will use this in your sentences as per content of the sentences. Now, use of since and for. Since gives the starting point of actions, events or circumstances. It is, it's about when it all started. Since plus a point of, a point in time in the past to now. Use for when we measure the duration, when we say how long it will take for plus a period of time. Now, how do we make the future perfect continuous tense? And the answer is here. The structure formula for the future perfect continuous tense is subject plus auxiliary verb plus auxiliary verb plus auxiliary verb plus main verb plus object. Now, you notice here that in this tense, not a one auxiliary, not the two auxiliary, but three auxiliary verbs in the formula. So in the first auxiliary verb, we will use will. And the second auxiliary verb, we will use have. And the third auxiliary verb, we will use been. And on the main verb, 
we will use first form of the verb plus ing. So this is your formula. Okay. Now we will explain this formula with the help of a chart in whiteboard. Okay. Now we are on the board and see examples. We are using the formula subject plus auxiliary verb plus auxiliary verb plus auxiliary verb plus main verb plus object. And here our first sentence is, our positive sentence is, I will have been working for two hours. See here, I is the subject, will is the auxiliary, first auxiliary verb, have is the second auxiliary verb, and been is the third auxiliary verb and then main verb working. And then our sentence is, I will have been working for two hours. The second positive sentence is, you will have been traveling for two days. See here, we are using and following our formula that First auxiliary verb we will use will, the second auxiliary verb will, will, we will use have, the third auxiliary verb we will use been and in the main, on the main verb we are using traveling. So you will have been traveling for two days. Very clear. To make it negative put not after the first auxiliary. He will not have been using the car. The second negative sentence, we will not have been waiting long. See, we is the subject, will is the first auxiliary and then after, after we put not to make it negative and the second auxiliary verb is have, the third auxiliary verb is been and the main verb is waiting. We will not have been waiting long. To make it question, Take the auxiliary verb in the place of subject and push the subject in the place of auxiliary. Your sentence will be turned into the interrogative. Will you have been playing cricket? Question mark. And the second interrogative sentence is, will they have been watching TV? Question mark. See this one, we have follow our formula in the chart to understand in easily and easy way okay now i will uh, use examples in the sentences got it okay now examples in the sentences see our first sentence is the doctor will have been treating patients for three hours See here, will is the first auxiliary, have second auxiliary, been third auxiliary, treating is the main verb. Just follow the formula. The doctor will have been treating patients for three hours. The second sentence is, they will not have been going to the library since Monday. See here, Subject, they, will, first auxiliary, have second auxiliary, been third auxiliary, and going is the main verb. And the sentence is, they will have been going to the library since Monday. The next sentence is, I will not have been using my mobile phone since 5 p.m. See here, this is the negative sentence. So we put not after the first auxiliary will. The second auxiliary is have, third auxiliary is been, and using is the main verb. So our negative sentence will be, I will not have been using my mobile phone since 5 p.m. The next sentence, which is in the, inter which, is, which is interrogative sentence, Will the kids have been playing with toys for two hours? See here, we take the auxiliary in the place of subject and push the subject in the place of auxiliary. 
and so our sentence will be will the kids have been playing with toys for two hours question mark see these are all the examples and we always follow our formula clear got it and now we have completed now we have completed the lecture on the future perfect continuous tense if you have any question feel free to let me know in the comments and i will speak to you at the end of every lecture be ready to learn and watch the next lecture so i will start my next lecture on exercises worksheets on tenses until then goodbye